How to add products from Alibaba to Shopify. Now, this is going to be super straightforward. So let me actually show you how to import Alibaba products to Shopify. To get started, just head over to the settings right here on the bottom left and open up the Shopify App Store by clicking on Apps and Sales Channels right here and then just clicking on Shopify App Store. Now, you will simply just have to look for Alibaba right here and then we can actually use the official Alibaba app essentially, which you can find right here. So just look for Dropshipping Alibaba Official and make sure to actually install this onto your store. So once you're going to click on the install button, you're going to be redirected to this page where you will then just have to click on install. And once you've successfully installed this, this will actually redirect us to this page where we will then have to either create an Alibaba account or where we will have to simply sign in. In my case, I'm just going to move forward with Google for this. I'm just going to use my normal Google account for this and I'm then going to automatically log in for this. And once you've successfully signed in, you are then going to be redirected to this page. Just opt out of this and then you are basically going to have the option to add all sorts of different products from Alibaba onto Shopify. You can then add products by simply just selecting them right here or you can also look for them. So I'm just going to look for Sweater Man, for example, and you're then going to be greeted with all of the different options that you're going to have available. And you can then also automatically import these products using the add to import list button right here. So just click on it. Now the importing is completed. And when we are now going to click on import list, we can actually automatically push this onto our Shopify store by simply just clicking on this right here and by then selecting push to store. And now this should actually automatically be added. So let's wait a couple of seconds. All right, perfect. And as you can see, when I'm now going to head to my products tab, this is going to be visible. And basically we are going to have all of the different images, all of the different size options and so on. Obviously I would recommend you to change this and to update this for your store so that it is going to look more professional, but basically that's it. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.